Hey guys, welcome back to another one. Today we have another fur profile in which I'll introduce an animal that can be trapped and talk about their general description, reproduction, diet, and typical ways to trap. Today's video is about the Martis Americana or the American Martin. Description The American Martin is a long slender body weasel about the size of a mink with relatively large rounded ears, short limbs, and a bushy tail. The American Martin has a roughly triangular head and a sharp nose. Their long, silky fur ranges in the color from pale yellowish to light brown to almost black. Their head is usually lighter than the rest of their body, while their tail and legs are darker. American Martin usually have a characteristic throat and chest bib ranging in the color from pale straw to vivid orange. Males average about 15% larger than females in length and as much as 65% larger in body weight. Total lengths range from 1.5 to 2.2 feet with a tail length of 5.4 to 6.4 inches. Adult weight ranges from 1.1 to 3.1 pounds and varies from age and location. Before we continue on, I'd like to take a moment to ask you all to please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also check out our store to grab some Outdoor Experience merch down below. And we do have a fur profile playlist if you want to check out more trapping animals to get a more in-depth look. Now back to today's video. Biology. Martin breed in midsummer, July to August. After a period of delayed implantation and about one month of pregnancy, three or four young are born from March to May. A tree den is preferred. Martin are primarily nocturnal and solitary hunters. They are active both on the ground and in trees. When traveling on the ground, they seldom actually touch the ground, but hop on one fallen log to another. They are opportunistic feeder and prey on the variety of small to medium sized animals such as mice, bulls, chickmunks, squirrels, and snowshoe hares. In the summer, they also eat berries, insects, and birds. In the winter, martin nesting sites are always below the snow surface, but in summer they may use the crowns of conifers, hollow logs, brush piles, or burrows. Habitat The American martin is broadly distributed in northern North America. From north to south, its range extends from the northern limit of the tree line in Arctic Alaska in Canada, south to New York. From east to west, its distribution extends from Newfoundland to western Alaska and southwest Pacific coast of Canada. Martins were once thought to only live in old conifer evergreen forests, but further study shows that martins live in both old and young deciduous, leafy, and conifer forests, as well as mixed forests. Trapping Tactics Cubbies and leaning pole sets are recommended using live traps. Number 120 or similar size body gripping traps, foothold one and a half, and snares. Lures and baits. Commercial lures, skunk essence, and beaver caster are attractive to marten. Fresh baits such as beaver can also be used effectively. In areas where marten are common, live traps can be used effectively to set for higher value males. Care should be taken not to place out too many sets where restrictive limits are in effect because over limits can be taken easily since they are fairly easy to trap. If excess animals are captured and cannot be released, they should be salvaged and turned into the state after first contacting a conservation officer and receiving permission. Martin Facts American martins are opportunistic predators. Affluenced by local and seasonal abundance and availability of potential prey. They require about 80 calories a day while at rest. The equivalent of about 3 bulls. American Martin in captivity may live up to 15 years. The oldest individual documented in the wild was 14 and a half years old. Survival rates vary at geographic region, exposure to trapping, habitat quality, and age. The fur of American Martin is shiny and luxuriant, resembling that of the closely related sable. The Hudson Bay Company traded in pelts from this species among others. The highest annual take in North America was 272,000 animals in 1820. 
Thanks for watching this video of Outdoor Experiences. Please like and subscribe for more outdoor experience and informational videos. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and we'll do our best to answer. If you have a video idea that you'd like us to talk about, feel free to put that in the comments as well. Thanks again and we'll catch you on the next one.